I think the first element the community need to know that this is a transformative agenda. Uh, the, with the pipeline laid to extract oil through uh, the number of communities uh, that lie along the pipeline, uh, life is not going to be the same. And therefore, the community need to be live to that element. And therefore, their engagement require a level of civic awareness so that they engage from an informed position. Uh, ignorance will not be in the favor of community at all or any other parties. Uh, it would also require that uh, those who have designed uh, this particular project need to share enough information to allow community to engage from an informed position. Remember that uh, the community uh, operates from the position of free informed, uh, free prior informed consent, and which means that they must be freely be informed uh, in, in, a, in a manner to uh, make a consensus decision on what, what is going to happen to them. So in, at any single time, the community's engagement will be better uh, uh, nested if they are well informed. So the community engagement is from that informed position, but there must be enough spaces of negotiation. This is a, a position which requires at most the community to have more or less what we would call community development agreement with the investor. And, and this is what is envisaged in other natural resource uh, investment like minerals, but even in oil, uh, it, it is urgent that an agreement of, of, of this nature is laid out because mining or drilling of oil is finite. It's not something perpetual. And therefore, the community need to be live to the fact that for that period that the, the drilling will continue, they also need to maximize or optimize the beneficiation from the development agenda, and especially for a pipeline. That pipeline, as it lasts, is a lifeline within the community.